Hello, hockey fans. The virtual MHL tournament continues. Valley Wildcats entertaining the Summerside Western Capitals here this evening. Valley sits at 1-1 one one through two games. Summerside on top of the pool at 2-0. and Thus to be expected from the Summerside Western Capitals. We know they're strong. Puck is dropped and we're underway. Won by the Wildcats back to Keegan Casey in his own end. Ahead for Kirk up on the wing. Kirk up trying to smash it in and does so. All the way around the back wall. Summerside will get to it. Valley in there to cause trouble. Wilson takes it away to Kirk up in the slot. Big save. Alec McVicker getting a blocker up on that one. Wildcats still have it thrown toward the goal, but blocked by the Summerside D. And it is worth mentioning both teams going with the backup goaltenders here tonight after the starters. Both Dominic Tomei and Aaron Brunn started the first two games for each team in this tournament. It'll be Chad Arsenault and Alec McVicker that are in goal tonight for Valley and Summerside. Western Capitals looking to come out of their own end. Pass up to Big Muirhead. Muirhead skates in, gets around a defender into the middle. MacArthur scores! Brody MacArthur gets it in the slot. There was a bit of a bobble in there as the Wildcats looked like they had blocked that pass, but MacArthur able to find it. And he tucks it into the cage for the first goal of the game. 1-0 Summerside. Back underway, Wildcats win the draw, but immediately taken away by McDougal. McDougal in on goal, save made by Arsenault. And he'll get it out to Olsen, now Wilson. Falk into the attacking zone. Zach Falk all the way into the corner. Around the boards, Duggan waiting back at the point. Back to Falk again, into the middle for Wilson. Shot blocked by Bigger, and he'll clear it out. Puck rolling all the way down the ice, and icing will be called against Summerside. No one was able to get to it. And the faceoff will move back to the Summerside zone. 1-0 Western Capitals. 3.38 gone here in the first period. Matthews wins it for Valley. Brent Levy can't take a shot, and away comes McKinnon. McKinnon trying to beat the D. The puck's taken away, but it rolls. McKinnon catches up to it and scores. Well, bad break for the Wildcats as they take the puck away from Carson McKinnon, but it just rolls forward, and McKinnon was able to use those wheels to catch up to it. Beats the goaltender on the right side. It's 2-0 Summerside here in the first. Full credit to Carson McKinnon to chase down that puck and get to it before the goaltender did. Puck has dropped. We're back underway. Western Capitals, four minutes in, lead it 2 to nothing. as Beatty slams the puck in for the Wildcats. He caught up to by Waterman. He's taken into the boards but stays with that puck, sending it around the wall for Beatty. Back out in front, nobody home. Matthews will pick it back up to Waterman. He's bumped off the puck. Takes it back, though, and it comes loose again. MacArthur back from Miley. Miley under pressure, but gets rid of it out to the middle for Reeves. Reeves carries in, takes a big shot, but it goes off the defender's shin guards and back into the Summerside zone. McNeil is back there. And McNeil up for Richard, now ahead for Reeves. Reeves skating in, forced out wide, skates through a check, throws it at the goal, caught by Arsenault, and he's going to hang on to that one. So Chad Arsenault freezes up the puck, just past six minutes gone here in the first period. 2-0 Summerside, face-off coming up to the right side of Arsenault. Blake Deacon and Callum Muirhead to do the draw. Puck is dropped, one by the Wildcats. Gallant sending it backwards, Muirhead's there to take it away, he fires on goal, and Arsenault way out of the top of the crease to challenge on that one, made it work, stopping Muirhead. Easier said than done, Muirhead again, and a stick save made this time by Arsenault. Valley having trouble getting out of their own zone. Roberts puts it into the middle, but nobody there except Casey, and he's able to get it out to Gallant. Gallant will carry into the attacking end for Valley. Carson Gallant all the way to the back wall, where it's taken away by Muirhead. Gives it to MacArthur. MacArthur taken into the boards, but got rid of the puck up to Roberts. Roberts into the middle for Muirhead. Muirhead tried to drag it around the defender, but Valley stripped him of the puck. Schofield along the wall. The other side for Casey on the right. Up to Deacon to Gallant. And they'll let Gallant bring it in. Carson Gallant dispossessed along the wall. And Summerside will look to come back. Lacouf backwards and now back to Lacouf. Lacouf in deep. All the way in behind the net. Tries the wraparound. He's cut off there. Duggan will jump on it for Valley. Get it ahead to Gallant. Gallant. Puck taken away from him in the neutral zone. 
And it's Marc-Andre Lecouf again, up ahead for McDougal. McDougal in behind the defender, shot on, save is made, and Arsenault will cover it up. Just 12 seconds away from the halfway point of period one, it's 2-0 Summerside. Third game of the tournament for both of these teams. Teams will play five games in the round robin. And the best will advance to a playoff after that, I believe. Now here comes Ethan Carney all alone. Carney in, shot, he scores! Valley's on the board. A long pass up ahead finds Ethan Carney, and he's off to the races. Makes no mistake, beats the goaltender to the left side. Carney has the first goal of the game for the Wildcats, and it's now 2-1. to one. Back underway, and here's Waterman right off the draw. Waterman puts it on goal, save made by the keeper. A little scramble in front. McVicker able to get down onto it, and he'll cover up that puck for the Western Capitals. Summerside still in front, 2-1. to one. 9.31 to go in the first period. At 10.14. Puck is dropped and won by Summerside. Richard sending it backwards for Miley. Miley up ahead finds Reeves just onside. Reeves shot on goal and a blocker save made by Arsenault. Beattie will pick it up for the Wildcats ahead to Wilson. Wilson moves it to Falk in the left wing. Falk cutting back into the middle does not get through. And it looks like we're going to drop the mitts here. Cole Kirkup going to go with Reeves. Lots of shots being thrown and landed by both guys. Reeves has got a quick jab, and he knocks Kirkup down. Not entirely sure what sparked that one, but Kirkup and Reeves will both sit. Five for fighting against both guys. And as I always have to say in this tournament when this sort of thing happens, because we're not playing with perfect Maritime Hockey League rules here, it's not an option in the game I'm using. That's not five in a game, it's just five, so both guys will return. Off of the face-off, puck goes all the way back deep into the Wildcat zone, and Summerside wins the race to it, MacArthur, but taken away by Luke Wilson. Casey, up ahead for Falk. Falk moving through the middle. Falk going in on goal. Shot big save made by the keeper. McVicker makes a very good one denying Zach Falk. Now MacArthur avoiding a hit for Summerside. Into the middle and blasted wide of the net by Roberts. King to Casey in his own end. Ahead Wilson now Falk. Valley drops it back for King. He's a knocked down. Here comes Muirhead. Muirhead in. Shot scores. Summerside uses the body and the big size advantage on that one to take that puck away. Muirhead goes in on goal, deeks out the goaltender and bar down off the crossbar and in. Summerside reestablishes the two goal lead, it's 3-1. Puck rolls into the Wildcat end. Casey just wins the race to that one. Sends it around the boards, but LeCouf is there to keep it in for Summerside, who have been the aggressors here in the first. Now Wilson takes that one after the pass missed. He'll bring it down the ice. Wilson stripped by Bigger before he can get the shot on goal. Summerside back at their own blue line. Wilson ahead McDougal into the middle McKinnon. McKinnon will move over the blue line, stripped to the puck by Carney, and it's played out. Wilson dumping the puck in. Valley will pick it up in their own end. King cross to Casey. Dangerous one in front of the goal, but nobody there in blue. Wilson brings it in for Valley. Goes all the way around behind the net. Wilson into the slot. Kearney fires and scores. Once again, it's a one-goal game, and it's Ethan Kearney one more time. Two Wildcat goals in the first period, both of them off the stick of number eight, as Valley makes it 3-2. Summerside still in the lead but a one-goal game with 4.39 to go in the first period. Nice set up by Luke Wilson in behind the net, and Kearney left wide open in the slot. He's not going to miss from there.
On for the faceoff, Summerside controls at center ice. They lead 1-0. Get knocked down. Here comes Wilson. Wilson attacking the goal. Shot save is made by McVicker, and he's going to hold on to that one. Certainly been a lot of chances here in this first period. Alec McVicker's come up with a couple of really good saves for Summerside. The Western Capitals have buried all but maybe one of their chances. McVicker's come up two or three times to stop the Wildcats. In the middle, they score again. Tie game. A scramble in front of the net, and this time McVicker doesn't get down onto it. Dylan Matthews puts it home, and the Wildcats have tied it at three here in the first. Puck loose in front of the net, Matthews finds it, just pounds it in. Right through the five hole. And we're all square, 3-3, three, three, with 3.58 to go in period one. And here comes Carney on the attack off the draw. He'll put a shot on McVicker. The defense quickly gets that one out of harm's way after McVicker made a good save. MacArthur in for Summerside, shot, he scores! Beat the goaltender glove side. Brody MacArthur has his second of the night. And right, just like that, Summerside is right back on top. It's 4-3. I mean, if there's one player in the entire league that's a little bit harder to stop than anybody else, it's probably Brody MacArthur. But he just comes right through the slot, puts that one where he wants. Summerside's right back on top. Teams answering each other back and forth very quickly. Seven goals already in this period. Waterman steals, puts a shot on goal, knocked down in Arsenault. We'll find it and get it up to MacArthur. Ahead for Roberts. Roberts forced out wide. He'll try a shot anyway. Dealt with by the keeper. And now ahead for Ethan Carney. Carney moves in for Valley. Carney bumped as he tried to go to the goal. Shot does come in. And ends up into the goaltender's hand. He'll cover it up. McVicker forces the face off. The 2.17 remaining in period one. Summerside wins the draw in the defensive zone. Carther back to McMillan, up ahead Richard. Out wide for Reeves. Reeves shot, blocked by the defense, did not get through. And now Brent Levy gives it to Beattie. The captain, up to Gallant. Gallant will bring it in on the left wing. Takes a hit from Arsenault, took the puck away. One minute left in the period as Richard brings it in for Summerside. Back for Reeves. Reeves to the front of the goal, bouncing around. The Wildcats are able to clear, and it'll roll all the way down the ice. Goaltender will come out and play it, give it to the defense, and get around that four-checker. Richard, MacArthur brings it back in. He's going to dump it into the corner. Valley will get to it there, send it around the wall, and that does it for period one. Quite the exciting first period. Seven goals on the board, four for the Western Capitals, three for the Wildcats. And Summerside has the advantage after the opening 20. Underway for period two. Summerside winning that opening faceoff. MacArthur back to McMillan. Gives to Arsenault. And then back again to McMillan. The Wildcats apply pressure. Falk steals that pass in the neutral zone. Zach Falk brings it in. He'll pound it around the backboards. Summerside will get to it. McMillan. Big collision as McMillan gets knocked down by Falk and those two continue to do battle. Falk takes the puck away into the middle for Wilson, denied by Arsenault. That, the defender, Arsenault, not the Wildcat goaltender, Arsenault. Did too many guys, similar names on these teams. McVicker ends up freezing that puck anyway. Just about 90 seconds gone in the second period. Another face-off inside the Summerside zone. Western Capitals lead by one. Wildcats win the draw. Matthews, the backhander, gloves save McVicker, but he dropped it. Ends up getting it back. Alec McVicker, lucky to get away with that one. Tried to move it very quickly to his defense, and he ended up dropping it right to Darren Waterman at the side of the net. Back underway. 
And Summerside comes out. Here comes McKinnon. One man back is Olsen. They will catch up, force McKinnon out wide. He'll take the shot from there. Chad Arsenault made the save. Ethan Carney up ahead for Waterman. Backwards for Olsen. And then ahead again for Carney just onside. Carney in deep for Waterman in the corner. Waterman around the boards. Olsen down low again to Waterman in the office. Waterman to Duggan. High slot for Kearney, shot loose, they score again, and it's another tie game. Dylan Matthews has his second. Two goals for Ethan Kearney, two goals for Dylan Matthews, and Valley's tied the game at four. Just over three minutes gone here in the second period. Bodies collide everywhere off of the faceoff. Duggan and Olsen both throwing their weight around. Olsen could take the puck all the way deep in his own end. Then Muirhead took it away. Roberts back low, and they score! And just like the last time, the game is tied for seconds only before Brody MacArthur completes the hat trick. Summerside takes the puck away. And that's what happened as it was a redirect by MacArthur. A shot taken from just inside the blue line, but MacArthur got his stick on it just about at the hash marks. And a puck that was going up suddenly went down and into the net past Chad Arsenault. Summerside now in front, 5-4. Only played 25 minutes. We've already had nine goals. It's crazy. Summerside will come out of their own end. MacArthur, the other one, pushed off the puck, and Carney takes it away for Valley. Ethan Carney ahead for Darren Waterman. Waterman along the wall, into the middle. Shot, good save made by Alec McVicker. And Summerside will quickly look to come out of the zone. Penalty coming up to the Wildcats. Looked like a hook in there. Richard has possession of it. He'll be knocked down in the corner, and as Valley touches up, a penalty will be called. So Summerside working the first power play of the game. Long range shot, knocked down by the goaltender and King in good position. That was a tap into a wide open net if Brent King wasn't there. All the way down the ice by the Wildcats. Summerside will pick it up in their own end. Around the boards and they find MacArthur already on a hat trick tonight. Brody MacArthur brings it in, going toward goal. He'll give the Roberts shot. Save made by the keeper and Beattie this time backhands it out all the way down the ice. Just returning to five on five as Muirhead tries to take a shot, blocked by the Wildcats and played out. Wilson to Falk. He's muscled off the puck and now bigger in his own end for Summerside. Up ahead, Muirhead. And Muirhead stripped to the puck by Wilson. Gave it to Falk. Falk will bring it in over the blue line. Falk tries to take a shot and that's blocked off the defense. Beattie keeps that one in at the line, gives it to Kearney. Save made as the goaltender came way out to challenge. Was able to knock it down and Summerside did the rest. Another penalty coming up to the Wildcats as the Summerside goaltender goes out for the extra attacker. MacArthur in the corner, into the middle, Lacouf. He'll skate behind the net. Lacouf to Muirhead on his backhand. All the way to the line for Bigger, back to Muirhead. Now he's at the forehand. He'll go back to Bigger at the line again to MacArthur. Back to Muirhead as they use that extra body. Finally try to put one on goal. It goes off a skate and as the Wildcats touch up, that penalty will be called with 9.38 to go in period two. Summerside on top, 5-4, to four, as they get their second straight power play. Cole Kirkup, this time going up to the box for hooking. So Summerside working their second power play. Arsenault back at the blue line. Wilson, Wilson will tee one up. And Arsenault able to see that one through traffic and get it. Nice save made by the Valley Netminder. Face-off one again by Summerside. Shot from Arsenault. Saved by Arsenault. And one from each side. Wilson keeping it in for Summerside. He'll take a big shot. That goes wide of the net. And McDougal gets rocked by Brent Levy in the corner. And Levy able to get that puck up to Matthews and out. Carney will bring it down the ice here shorthanded. Throw it around the back wall. Matthews after it, but Summerside gets there first. And played out. 
Sending it back to Olsen at his own blue line as the Wildcats kill some time here. We go back to five on five play as Kirkup returns to the ice. And Carney able to put the puck into offensive ice, but Summerside defense is there. And played out Richard. MacArthur flipping it in for the Western Capitals. McDougal wins the race to it. Ties up with Levy in the corner. McDougal sending it around the wall, finds Miley, puts it right back into the corner for McDougal. And LeCoup and McKinnon work the cycle. McKinnon retreats to the blue line, long shot, blocked off the defense. Valley will skate it out, Olsen up to Matthews. Matthews looking for somewhere to go, he'll take a shot from an angle. And save is made by McVicker, good catch with the glove. He holds on, six minutes to go in the second period. Summerside in front by one, five to four. The overly frantic pace of the first period does seem to have slowed down a bit here in the second. As Valley takes a shot right off the faceoff, save made again by the Summerside goaltender. Now McKinnon, McDougal, his shot is blocked. Second attempt, that one got through, but knocked down and then covered up in the blue paint by Chad Arsenault. Five twenty-nine remaining in the second period. They line up for a face-off to the right side of Arsenault. One by Summerside and a shot right on, right off the draw. Arsenault's able to deal with. Dylan Schofield sending it ahead for Gallant just onside. Gallant in on the rebound. Schofield scores. Tie game for the third time in the hockey game. Valley's come back to tie it. It's now 5-5. Carson Gallant puts it on goal. Goaltender made the save, but the rebound came right to Dylan Schofield, and he's got his first of the tournament. Just inside five minutes to go here in the second period, we are tied five apiece. In the last two times Valley's tied the game, Summerside scored seconds later. Let's see what happens this time around. McLean brings it in for Summerside. Out wide, McLean in front for McDonald. McDonald, the Tuska, back to the line for Wilson. Penalty coming up to the Wildcats and it'll be called as they touch the puck. We'll have the third power play of the game and the third power play for Summerside in this game. Keegan Casey gets the gate this time around. Interference is the call. As Summerside goes back to the man advantage. So Summerside working the power play, but Valley won the draw, sent it around, and they can't keep it into the point. It'll get all the way down the ice. Zach Bigger takes a bump in his own end, but stays with that puck. Got it ahead, Roberts, now Muirhead. Muirhead brings it in for Summerside. Muirhead back to the line. McMillan will tee one up. Knocked down by the Wildcats, and they'll clear the zone. All the way down to Alec McVicker in the Summerside net, getting his first start to the tournament. Muirhead moves in for Summerside. Muirhead will send it back, but it's missed back at the point. Ends up going all the way down the ice, and that does it for the Summerside power play. Casey back onto the ice for Valley. Just 1.35 to go in this second period, a 5-5 tie. As MacArthur, already on three goals tonight, dances his way in, gives it to Muirhead along the boards. Back to MacArthur, shot on, and a second attempt by Roberts just went wide of the net. That's about as close as Summerside can come without actually scoring, and may have gone off the post. Casey, ahead for Carney. He's on two goals tonight as he tees up one. The goaltender gets just enough of that one to direct it into the corner. Final seconds of the period. Does Muirhead have time for a shot? He does not, as the second comes to a close. A 5-5 tie between Summerside and Valley after 40 minutes. Third period underway, Wildcats on the attack. Falk puts the first shot of the period on goal. McVicker makes a glove save, and he's going to hang on this time. Alec McVicker has been very keen to move that puck once he gets it in this hockey game, but this time with Falk on the doorstep, he'll take no chances. 
Wildcats win the draw again, but lose control. Muirhead will bring it out for Summerside, ahead for Roberts. One-on-one -on -one with the defender. Well challenged by Arsenault and a great glove save. Shutting down Cam Roberts. Summerside in the offensive zone, gets it to the front of the net, but it bounces wide. Falk plays it to the front of the net. Wilson not able to jam it past the goaltender. Summerside will come away with it. Roberts got pass to check. Roberts in on goal. Shot save is made, and Casey there to grab that rebound. Nice job by the Wildcat defender to be in the right spot. The puck goes all the way down the ice here. That is an icing call against the Wildcats. Two minutes, six seconds gone in period three. We're still tied at five. Underway again, Wildcats have it in their own end, sending it around the board. Summerside able to keep it into the point. LeCouf tries to take a shot that's blocked. McKinnon knocked off the puck as well. Wilson looks for a way out, gives it to Duggan, and now Kirkup up to the neutral zone. Kirkup from center ice makes a back pass, finds Wilson, and he's able to flip it in deep. Bigger will play it to Wilson for Summerside. LeCouf back to Bigger and ahead McDougal as they move the puck around quickly. McDougal bumped off the puck as he tried to go behind the net. Duggan will grab it for Valley and knocks down McDougal who came back after the puck. And ahead for Falk. Into the middle, Kirkup. Kirkup in on goal. Shot. No, denied. And then it goes off the crossbar. And Valley comes about as close as they can without actually finding the back of the net. It's a second attempt hit the crossbar. Penalty coming up to the Wildcats. As the Western Capital gets knocked down, here's LeCouf. LeCouf, he's hammered in the corner. And Valley touches up the puck. Donovan Beattie's going to get called here. They're going to call that tripping against Donovan Beattie. As one of the Summerside players went flying in the neutral zone. Summerside 2-0, Valley 1-1. One one. As Olsen's able to find that puck off the faceoff and send it all the way down the ice, taking some more time out of the Summerside power play. Set up into the slot. They score. Callum Muirhead puts Summerside back on top. Beats the goaltender down low through the five hole. And no out wide. Brody MacArthur came down the wing. Gives it to Muirhead coming through the middle. And snaps it past the keeper, and Summerside is back on top, 6-5. to 13 minutes to go in regulation time. Western Capitals up by one. Power play goal scored by number 10 at 647. Valley on the attack again. Falk goes behind the net, around the boards, back to the line. Casey in for Kirkup, shot blocked. Summerside will take it away. Richard ahead for Reeves. Reeves forced out way wide. Valley takes the puck away, Falk. Playing it back to King in his own end. King passed through the neutral zone, missed everybody. Went all the way down, Miley to the keeper, back to Miley, now up to Reeves. Reeves right back in for Summerside, into the slot, broken up. Looks like King got a stick on that one. Reeves plays it back down low again for Richard. Richard to MacArthur. He'll be held up along the wall. Reeves will find it, get it back to MacArthur, denied at the side of the net. King sends it around the boards, finds Kirkup. Kirkup back again for Brant King at his own blue line. For Wilson in the middle. Wilson along the right wing. Into the middle finds Falk. Falk snaps a shot, went off a shin pad. Second attempt gets on goal, but that's scooped up by the keeper. And Alec McVicker will hold on. King loses to Roberts. Muirhead tries to take the shot. Valley puts up a phalanx in front of him. He still gets a shot away. Save is made by Arsenault. 
Dumped in by the Wildcats, but MacArthur and Muirhead able to get it out up to Roberts. Roberts over the line, but not much further. Casey took it away to Falk. Falk will pound it around the back wall for Valley. Wilson finds it. Back to the line, but taken away. Wildcat defense has to hustle back as Summerside looks to get on the attack again. It's Muirhead. Muirhead, this time he's crashed into and knocked off the puck. Muirhead has been a real challenge to stop for the Wildcats so far in this game. Kirk up in, shot, save. And once again covered up in the blue paint by Alec McVicker. Again, Valley getting plenty of shots in on McVicker. But he's able to grab that puck and cover it up, slow things down here in the third period. 6.56 remaining. Summerside still in front by one. Wildcats win the draw. Waterman with a shot right away, denied. Carson McKinnon playing it back for Wilson. Now Bigger. Zach Bigger. Looking to come out of his own zone. Valley took it away. Here comes Carney. Carney in on goal. Around the keeper. He scores. Ethan Carney. Hat trick goal. And the Wildcats tie the game six apiece. Summerside just wasn't able to get out of their own end. Carney just kept that play on side. Races toward the goal, deeks out the keeper, finishes with the backhand upstairs. Brody MacArthur with a hat trick for Summerside, Ethan Carney with a hat trick for Valley, and a crazy 6 6 hockey game with six minutes to play in regulation. And these teams want to try and win this thing in regulation. It's another penalty coming up to Valley. It'll be called here as Olsen touches the puck. It is going to be Olsen that goes to the penalty box. 5.21 remaining in the third. Penalty Interference against Olsen. Full credit to Summerside. They have not taken a penalty in this game. I think this is their fifth power play. As we found out earlier in the tournament, though, Penalty if it goes to overtime, you don't get a point just for getting to OT as Arsenault covers up that puck in the crease. We've got another face-off. It's got to go all the way through another 20-minute fourth period before the game counts as a tie and both teams get a point. Whomever scores next is probably getting three points, and the other team's probably getting nothing. Shot from the top of the faceoff circle, knocked down by Arsenault. He'll cover it. 4.44 remaining as Summerside continues to work this power play. They win the draw again, but lose it along the wall. Carney and Matthews able to get it back out to the neutral zone. Muirhead will come right back in for the Western Capitals. Callum Muirhead gives it to Roberts. He'll go behind the net. Roberts will turn it back the other way. Bigger. MacArthur, top of the circle, back to Bigger at the blue line. MacArthur again. Down low for Roberts. Skates behind the net. Roberts gives it to Muirhead. Back to the line. Now Muirhead again. Muirhead all the way behind the goal. One more time for Summerside. Penalized player has returned to the ice as Summerside tries a shot from a sharp angle. Knocked down by the keeper and Valley will get it out. We're 5-on-5 five five with 2.50 to go. Wilson into the middle for Carney. Bumped, gets the shot away. McVicker got down and covered it up. Great job by Carney, who has played the man possessed tonight. Able to absorb that hit, stay with the puck, and still get that shot away. And stopped by McVicker. Valley wins the draw, 2.30 to go, Duggan back at the blue line to Olsen. Olsen gave it to Kirkup. Kirkup to Wilson as Valley works around the outside. Olsen back at the blue line again, all the way to the right. Now to Wilson. Wilson skating through. He'll put a shot on from range. McVicker knocked it down. McMillan trying to get out of his own end. Taken away by Wilson to let the backhander go. It goes off the outside of the post and then McVicker able to cover up. 135 remaining in regulation, and Luke Wilson finding the post for the Wildcats but can't beat the goaltender. 
Summerside wins the draw on the defensive end this time. They'll get it out quickly, McKinnon. And McKinnon gaining the blue line all the way in. Sends it around the backboards. Falk is waiting on the other side for Valley. Falk ahead for Kirkup. He's one on two, waits for help. Kirkup, 33 seconds left as he sends it around the back wall. Casey waiting on the side. Casey keeps it in for Valley. Falk comes up with it, tries to take a shot, got a body in front of him to block it. Summerside will bring it out, but they don't have time for a shot. And we are going to overtime. Just the second time in the tournament. One of these games has needed extra time. But 60 minutes, unable to settle it. 12 goals, 6-6 six, six, between Summerside and Valley. We get underway. Wildcats win the opening draw here in the overtime. King through the middle. Wilson, or Falk to Wilson, who brings it in. Wilson keeps it in at the line. Got it to Falk along the boards. Back to Wilson. Now to Falk in behind the net. Tries a short side. Thinks better of it. Sends it around the wall instead. To the front of the net. Falk is there, but crashed into. Can't get a stick on the puck for a shot. Summerside will bring it out. Now it's Muirhead. Sent it backwards. Pass is missed, and Valley's got a chance. Kirk up in on goal. Tries to use the defender as a screen, but McVicker sees it and kicked it wide. Arsenault behind his own net for Summerside. Around the boards, finds Roberts. McMillan. Up ahead, Muirhead. Muirhead out wide, MacArthur. MacArthur across the other side, Roberts, and he's rocked as he tried to go to the net. Wilson knocked him down hard. Olsen around the boards and out. He'll go all the way down the ice, and a, no, no icing. Three minutes gone in the overtime. As Bigger, under pressure in the corner, but stays with it. Send it around the boards. Olsen kept it in at the line. And MacArthur took it away. Wilson back to Bigger in his own end. Now Muirhead right wing. Muirhead into the middle for Roberts. Roberts in. Shot scores! And the Western Capitals win it. Cam Roberts with the OT winner. 7-6 final. And on all the goals we've seen tonight, that one relatively innocent. As Roberts skates into the top of that face-off circle, let it go from just outside the slot. And it beat the goaltender up high. Well, nothing like a good quick release wrist shot. As Cam Roberts gets the OT winner. And Summerside pulls off a 7-6 victory in extra time against the Valley Wildcats. Heck of an effort by Valley. They will go home with no points. Summerside will take all three for the victory. And Summerside improves to a perfect 3-0. Valley 1-2 with two games still to go in the round robin portion of the tournament for the Wildcats. They still have to face the Mariners and the uh, U-20 Kazakh team as well. Crazy hockey game. And Summerside pulls off the victory 7-6 over Valley.